Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on certs. This is a more difficult topic, and you might want to have a go at the expanding brackets video first, uh, which will help you with this one. This is part one, so you must watch the second video afterwards. So let's begin. What is a third? A third is anything with a square root. So here we have square root three. That's a third because it has a square root. A question might be times in together two thirds. So you might have to do something like this. Square root of three times square root of five. Well, it's very easy because they're both thirds. We just times the numbers together. Three times five is 15. And because they're both thirds, we put a square root on the top. Let's do another one. Let's do root five times root five. Same method. Because they're both thirds, we can times the numbers together. 5 times 5 is 25. And we put a square root on it because they're both thirds. However, this time, we should spot that we know that the square root of 25 is 5. And it's important that we can spot the square roots. Uh, last one, let's have a go at 2 times root 7. So 2 times root 7, this time they're not both thirds. So we can't just times them together. So instead, we're going to write it as 2 root 7. So we write them next to each other, but we can't combine them like we did in the first two. So now, hopefully, we know how to time thirds together and thirds with numbers. We can answer a couple of exam questions. So let's have a go at the first one, number 1. We're going to do root 3, brackets, root 3, plus 2. So we should know how to expand brackets, and it's very, very similar now. We're going to put on our arrows to show what we're doing. And the first arrow goes from root 3 to root 3. They're both thirds, so we can times them together. 3 times 3 is 9, and put a square root on it. The second arrow goes from root 3 to 2. They're not both thirds. So we can't combine them, so we just write that as 2 root 3. And then we put a plus in the middle because there's a plus in the middle. One more step. Hopefully you've spotted that the square root of 9 here, we know the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. So we write square root of 9 is 3, and our answer now becomes 3 plus 2 root 3. Let's do one more of those in case you found that a bit difficult. So number two, let's do root five brackets three minus root two. So again, we're going to put arrows on to show what we're doing. The first arrow goes from the root five to the three. Well, we can't combine them because they're not both thirds. So we're just going to write that as three root five. The second arrow goes from the five, the root five, to the root two. This time they're both thirds, so we can combine them. Root five times root two will give us root ten, because five times two is ten. This time there's a takeaway in between, so we put a takeaway in between. This time we can't simplify it because we don't know what the square root of five is, and we don't know what the square root of 10 is. So that is our answer. OK, we're now going to go on again to do another slightly harder question. So example number three. This time, we're going to have two different brackets. So we're going to have root 3 minus 2, brackets root 3 plus 2. So this time, we've got two brackets. So we used a method we learned on expanding two brackets which we've done before is the smiley face method. So we put on a smiley face, and we work out all of the arrows separately. So this first arrow here, root 3 to root 3. They're both thirds. We know root 3 times root 3 is going to be root 9. So the first bit is going to be root 9. Uh, the second arrow here is minus 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and there's a minus here, so it's going to be minus 4. 
So we know we're going to have a minus 4 at the end. Then the two bottom ones, minus 2 times root 3. Well, they're not both thirds, so we can't combine them. So we're just going to write that as 2 root 3. But because there's a minus in front, we put a minus in front. So it's going to be minus 2 root 3. And now the bottom one, root 3 times 2. Again, you can't combine them, it's going to, so it's going to be 2 root 3. This time it will be a plus, so it's plus 2 root 3. So we've now expanded the brackets. We just need to see if we can simplify it. Well, we can, because we know what root 9 is. Again, we had this earlier, root 9 is just 3. And then we look at the middle bits here. We've got minus 2 root 3s, and we add on 2 root 3s. So if you think about that, if we had minus 2 of something, and we add on 2 of it, then it goes back to 0. So these two bits cancel out, and they go to 0. So we're left with just this minus 4 at the end. 3 take away 4 gives us minus 1, which is the final answer. So I know this is a bit of a tricky question, but hopefully that example showed you a little bit how to do it. I've now got some practice questions for you to have a go at and see how you get on. Remember to watch the second maths cast on thirds to find out how to rationalize the denominator.